Now, in the wake of the tragedy, many are left wondering if anything could have been done to prevent it. Experts say knowing the warning signs of someone in crisis and reaching out to that person can make a difference. KXY 4's Ariana Lake joins us in the studio with more on that. Ariana. Nadine, this is a conversation we're having right here at KXLY this week. A Spokane County Sheriff's Deputy is working with staff here about how to face something like this. He said it's crucial to pay close attention to the people around you so you can speak up before that person does something dangerous. I feel like if we identify people in crisis and people who need help and we intervene with that person sooner than later, we have a much better chance of reducing the risk um, that an attack like this would, would be carried out. Following Wednesday's school shooting at Freeman High School, law enforcement members are weighing in on the important role each person can take to reach out to friends, family, or peers facing hard times. Someone who would commit such a, an act is not maybe necessarily someone who is a criminal or stands out as a criminal, but instead is someone in a crisis and someone who is in need of services or help. Spokane County Sheriff Deputy Chris Johnston specializes in teaching people how to prevent and survive shootings. He said major loss or trauma can trigger someone to hurt themselves or others. There's a vast variety of different things that, that you know could be kind of pre-attack indicators in a, in a person. Um, but the main things are uh, a change, a significant change, um, a significant change in emotional behavior, a significant change in uh, how somebody interacts with other people. Johnston says some people might make threats while others keep their emotions hidden. Whatever the case, Deputy Johnston says it's crucial to notice changes and get help before it's too late. There's a big difference between kind of being a tattletale and being willing to speak up if you see signs or, or hear signs uh, that someone might be considering violence as a way to solve their problems. Johnson said there are deputies at many schools in the county that provide safety information to students and they're available to report potentially dangerous situations. Tonight at 6, Johnson explains what to do if you are involved in an active shooter situation. Reporting live in the studio, Ariana Lake, KXLY 4 News. All right, thank you, Ariana.